Oh, hey everybody, Syntax77 here. Just down in my basement repairing my uh, furnace here. I ran out of heating oil, which actually, quick tip before we get started, Bob Vila backpacking style. If that happens to you, all you need is a standard quarter inch piece of tubing for gravity water filters. And uh, that's exactly what you need to bleed off your furnace and get it back up and running again. Combine that with five gallons of diesel from the gas station and you're back up and running in no time. But the main reason I'm here right now, besides home tips and whatnot, is because I was tagged recently by a fellow YouTuber, Restless Outdoors, and he called me out on my three choices for luxury backpacking items. This is actually my first time doing a tagged video. I've seen other channels I follow do this in the past, so I'm aware of the concept. In fact, I've actually apparently been tagged in the past, although I didn't find out until like 10 years later. But in this case, on my recent Smoky Mountains backpacking video, uh, there was a post and it was upvoted by a bunch of viewers and they said, check this out, Restless Outdoors is asking you to respond. The video is actually very interesting and he looks to have a bunch of interesting videos. In fact, his items are very close to what I might have picked myself, at least two of them. The third one, I won't spoil it, but um, I've never messed with that, although I've had something similar, but not something quite that lightweight. But check his video out. It's pretty similar to what I would have picked as well. But I purposely picked out some different items myself. I'm what I would consider kind of a minimalist backpacker or maybe borderline ultralight, so I don't bring a lot of stuff to begin with, but there are items that I bring that are extra that I consider luxury items, and that's what I'm gonna show you right here. I'm also gonna put this from the perspective of three season backpacking. I'm not gonna get into winter backpacking, although some of these items I do bring for that as well, but I'm just gonna stick to kind of three season camping. So let's get into it. So number one, I think this is pretty uh, non-controversial. I like to bring as a luxury item, I don't always bring it, these are items I don't always bring, a stool. In this case, what I chose was the Buyer of Maine Tri-Light Stool. I've showed this in a couple videos. Yes, I mostly bring it in colder temps in the winter and whatnot when I don't want to sit in the snow and the cold, but I also bring it on three season trips as well. And it's about one pound, five ounces, which for me with a base weight of under 10 pounds, that's a good chunk of weight. But I find it nice for those situations where I want to be comfortable around camp. If I don't expect there to be logs and stuff like that to sit on, I'll bring this guy. As you can see, it's basically just a little pedestal there and this piece of material that goes across the top. And I can sit on this and I'm pretty comfortable and good to go. I will also point out, I have another kind of alternative to this. And this was shown on my Colorado backpacking video that I posted recently. You can check it out up there. And this is an all light, mayfly chair actually i'll just show you some footage because i'm not going to set it up right now this is a lot loungier i would say it's more comfortable and it, you know you can kind of lean back and look at the stars in it and lounge around camp it's really awesome for just kicking back and relaxing however after several trips and i did actually bring this on a winter solo trip as well what i realized especially on a solo trip is when you're doing chores a lounge chair like this really kind of annoying for doing camp chores, stooping over a fire or a stove or breaking up wood, stuff like that. So this is one pound, 10 ounces. It's only five ounces more, but in general, if I had to recommend one, I'm gonna go with the Buyer of Maine Tri-Light Stool. It's one pound and because of the way it's set up, I sit on it and I'm just more upright. So I can kind of bend over, do chores and whatnot, and it's still comfortable and nice, and I like it a lot. So that is my first choice. Camp Stool, Buyer of Maine, Tri-Light. All right, on to items two and three. This is where um, maybe I'll cause some confusion or debate, I don't know. What I picked out right here, I've shown it before a lot of times on this channel, but I don't always use it. That's why I consider it a luxury item. It is a canister stove. Now, I know what some of you might be saying right now, a stove, that's not a luxury item, that's a necessity. Yeah, and I know there are some ultralighters that go backpacking without a stove at all, they just eat cold food. I've never done that, that's not my point, but 
this I consider a luxury item. It's a generic camp stove. I think this is, I forget the brand. Nowadays, the biggest brand is E-Tech City. It's like 12, 13 bucks. You can actually find them on Amazon for even less than that if you shop a little harder. Uh, they all kind of look the same, but they're marketed under different names. Anyway, this is an upright canister stove and it connects right to a canister like this guy here, or if you're by yourself, a smaller guy, four ounce guy like that. And yes, I do consider this to be a luxury item. Now, I know some of you might be like, what are you talking about? And when I first started backpacking, if I watched this video, I would say the same thing. But back then I didn't realize there was a such thing as alcohol and Esbit fuel stove systems. That's what I usually carry when I go on a solo backpacking trip or even a group trip with like-minded ultralighters. We're not getting into that right now. We're talking about my luxury items, but my point is this is what I usually carry. However, there are situations where you just want to make it easier and this is to me, a luxury item. You spin it on to the canister, you fire it up, you're ready to go in no time. I really like this in particular for group trips because Let's be honest, you're going with a friend who doesn't go that often or maybe a spouse, wife, girlfriend that you convinced to go on the trail. It's not the time to sit around fiddling with alcohol and esbit. This is a luxury, to me at least. All right, final item. And again, this one might also be a little bit debatable. Feel free to chime in in the comments section below. But I chose... A weather band radio. Yes, this right here is a Sanjian DT400W. I really like this and I consider it uh, one of my favorite luxury items. Why is it debatable? Well, because you could say this is safety, I guess, and to kind of play devil's advocate with myself, I would say that too. But let's be honest, I never carried this until the last year or so. I got it as a Christmas present from my wife. Prior to that, those of you who say, hey, it's a safety item, not luxury. Honestly, how many people out there carry a weather band radio? Show of hands. How many of you out there even thought about weather band? Most of the time, you probably think about apps and whatnot to get your weather, right? And I do the same thing. I mean, for seven years prior to this, I would simply go on my phone, pull up a weather app, get a good multi-day report. It was fine. I got through it. But for those of you uninitiated or maybe younger viewers out there, they have something called weather band radio and they have transmitters all throughout the country on different channels. There's uh, seven different frequencies that you can tune into and it just plays a loop of a weather forecast. It's nice. You get real time weather on this particular model. It does a weather band AM FM as well as weather band alert to pull down that one FM or even AM radio station that you can actually manage to get in the middle of nowhere. It's like this beacon of civilization coming to you. It's, it, it's kind of fun, but anyway, that's my third item a weather band radio. So I guess at this point, it's my turn to pick. Uh, I believe the standard is uh, three people to pass this on to. So let me see here. Number one, I'm going to say trail killer, AKA Trail Slipper, AKA my friend Mike, who's done a lot of these trips with me. Uh, I'm gonna throw this out to him. So next up, I gotta pick a number two here. Let's think of somebody that might actually respond to me. I'm thinking of somebody who's pretty big in the backpacking world, but not too big. So they would actually, I'm gonna pick Jerry Seinfeld. Luxury backpacking, why don't you just get a hotel? And my third, Shug, Shug Emery. What do you got? So there you have it, tag responded. Please feel free to chime in below in that comment section with any mm, critiques you have of the choices that I made, as well as maybe any items that you think would be better if you had to choose just three luxury backpacking items.